been freezing here for, I don't know, well over a week, every day. Um, we had one day where we had uh, freezing rain and an ice storm that was uh, one degree with a 10 below zero wind chill. And these windmills hadn't stopped turning for uh, the whole time. And during the winter, they're very perpetual. They hardly stop, and that's one of the reasons they don't ice up. You can see those giant, uh, I don't know if they're giant by some people's standards, but it's big icicles hanging there. You notice that the uh, turbines are just producing electricity. They're not iced up at all because they're very perpetual. You know, if uh, during the winter the wind's blowing uh, every day, uh, almost every day, I'm not saying they couldn't ice up or wouldn't ice up, and uh, this is in Ohio, so it gets cold here. It's been very cold the last week, but it's not really the most extreme cold place you could be. But uh, uh, hybrid wind and solar systems are used in weather stations in the Arctic and up in Alaska, I know that. And uh, one of the reasons is because the uh, generators generate their own warmth as they generate electricity wind blows almost all the time when it's cold and so they're very perpetual they don't slow down long enough to get uh, snow and ice build up and they also uh, tend to de-ice themselves so in uh, the arctic weather stations where they have solar and wind hybrid weather stations um, the solar panels uh, tend to be mounted at a real sharp angle um, to keep from getting piled on with snow and uh, when they are piled up with snow and not getting much light, the windmills are always uh, turning in the wind and, and uh, helping to de-ice things. They also take the electricity that's generated and, and create uh, de-icing uh, on the little towers and even on the panels to keep uh, ice from building up. They use electricity to keep the thing warm and make it de-ice itself, kind of like the turbines do in the winter. Uh, they stay warm and keep moving and tend to keep from getting iced up because of that. I do get some questions about how well the turbines will do in icy weather and cold weather and uh, uh, they fare way better than anybody would imagine. As you can see, the wind is coming from the broad side of the roof, uh, and this is one of the good things about a rooftop turbine is, is uh, in that case, the wind is actually concentrated uh, over the peak of the roof like it would be a spoiler of a, of a car. Um, so you get a concentration effect of the wind being focused into the turbines up over the roof, and uh, so even though there's not much uh, wind right now, today uh, the turbines are very productive as you can see.